Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add expenses and track your receipts into the Wave Apps software. And by the way, this accounting tool is free. You can sign up using the link description below. And of course, if you want to have a more comprehensive accounting version, then Zoho would be the best alternative. But for me, Wave App. I'm setting with Wave app really. So anyway, to add an expenses into the Wave app, simply go into the accounting section and go to the transaction. And what I really like about Wave app is it's super easy for you to add an income and expenses and also add a list of transactions. They, they call it journal transaction. You can also upload your back statement if you want to really have a list of your uh, like what how your buddy's going on. So I love so let's say we we'll start first with the add expenses because this is our topic. So to add expenses, click the add expense button. And then here you will you can actually drag that as well, I believe. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you can't. I'm sorry. So if you want to add expenses, first is you set when it will be billed. So let's say I have an expenses here that will be billed on August 4. So August 4, and this is a credit card bill. Um, where is it? Um, okay, let's just try this one. Let's try it again. So add expenses. And I, it will be billed on August 4. And then this is a RCBC Visa credit card bill. And this account is under the RCBC credit card. And if you, if you want to add more like details with your account, you can also click this create new uh, view thing in here. Um, add what is the account type whether it is a credit card a loan credit line a money in transit or a cash and a bank so let's say credit card you put it the rcbc the name of your credit card if it's a philippine or what currency is that title and account title id and description is not um recommend uh, it's not mandatory so you can skip that part but since i already created or i already have a credit card rcbc credit card in here um I, let's just choose this one so for the category uh this is a um a short term for me this is just a personal liability so i'm gonna call that let's say short term or liability let's try to check that so if it's not if it's not if there's no result then you can just click the add new thing there um i will this is of course a short term liability because i probably purchased something so account name is under my name Okay, for the currency uh, description, again, this can be skipped. So saved. And then the price would be 23000 It's almost $400. And then if this is already paid, like it is due on August 4, you will be notified before August 4 or on August 4. So if this is already paid, you can click this mark as reviewed. And then what I really like about that is you can upload a receipt. So if you already paid this thing here, you can have you can tie up these expenses to your receipt. And it always happened to be like I really had a problem last time um, because my receipt is misplaced. So um, at least your transactions, your expenses is tied up to that receipt. You can also add more details aside from receipt. You can add notes in here of like more information. That's uh, for me, this part here is super helpful 
to make sure I did displace edit receive in a case that like for example like especially for the uh, expenses or electric bills they said that I haven't paid yet but it was actually auto charge at my credit card so this receipt is really helpful this receipt sections in here that is tied up to my transaction would be super helpful for me to justify that I already paid that expenses now if you want to delete some of the categories in here or redeem some of the categories which I believe I um, created a wrong one I just called it angelic with no like you know personal more information what type of liability or what type of category it is so if you want that to be renamed or removed then simply go into the chart of accounts and then there is they already separated it whether it is an assets a liabilities credit card and income and expenses or an equity so it I believe it is under on the liabilities and credit cards and if i go in search my name there so i'm going to remove this part here so simply go into the area of there should be an options there okay so there's no options to remove that that's so weird so i'm going to remove that uh, i'm going to keep that as a reserve for now not the views and then here so i can just use it like personal liability or stuff so prevent further usage this account will be able to generate reports okay so that was the archive thing okay so this is if you check that one it will be an archive but i think i can just rename this after if i have um, like other short-term liabilities so I can just uh, I'll, I'll rename that after so that's how you can um, rename and change your checklist and they already liquidate this part just already a by the way there's already a default thing that they put in I haven't put any of this part here called this I think like this income one this one, I think I put that, but this gain of foreign exchange, I did not put that part. Um, I did not put any of the description. You may, I have an AdSense, but, but I have a recurring, um, recurring, uh, what do you call that? Recurring income in Google AdSense. So I can just put a description here, like recurring feature and blog income. Okay, so yeah, that's how you can change that. So yeah, hope that helps. And if you have any question, feel free to comment down below or suggest any topic that you want me to cover on the next video. Thank you and have a great day.